Hello everyone, I'm Simone, tech specialist at Kiloview. In today's video, I want to show you how to interconnect your bonding P3 series with our flagship D350. With the recent update, you can still use the P3 as a standalone encoder or with our patented Kilolink Server Pro server. So, no further hesitation and let's have a look on how to make this. So, let's have a look first on a local stream connection. You can use your P3 as a standalone unit. I'll show you in the graphical interface. Okay, this is our P3. And as you can see, we got two tabs now, local stream and bonding. In local stream mode, we can decide to add multiple stream and use the single connectivity all at once to create the stream and send to our D350. If we press on the add button, that's the menu. And as you can see in the network link, there's a few options. We can decide whether to get automatic uh, networking or select the network we want to use. The protocol, of course, and all these protocols are available in the D350. The audio channels, and the ports and so on. So for this specific example, Let's try to create a SRT stream. I'm gonna give it a name like P3 and I'm gonna use the color mode and I've opened the port on my D350. So I'm gonna insert the IP address, the public IP address of my D350 and I'm gonna use my desired port. In the network link, we can decide whether to use one SIM card, the Wi-Fi or the LAN. In this specific case, just to see we can cross the networking, I'm gonna see you how easy is this. I'm gonna select one of my SIM cards and I press OK. All right, from now on, I can start and trigger the stream. Here, I can copy my link and I can go to the D350 and insert my input. So if we click on the plus button in the network stream, I can put my string SRT. Of course, we can still use the uh, public IP address or we can select our static IP address in the local area network. In this case, I'm gonna use the same kind of thing I'm gonna give name and I'm gonna select my port and press OK. As soon as I drag this one into the preview, we're gonna see connecting happen. And once it's connected, you're gonna see the video preview. I can drag and drop into the output and we're gonna see into the output tab. Let me show you once again into real scenario. I got now the P3 connected with just the SIM card and the D350 to the monitor. And now we'll drag and drop the feed into the output. And you can see that D350 is successfully decoded the P3 signal into local stream. So even if you are remote, Without the use of the server, you've been able to stream directly point to point from the P3 to the D350. Hey, as I said, you can use also other protocols like NDIHX. Basically speaking, if you have a Wi-Fi mesh system, you can use your P3 now as your wireless encoder in the NDI world. So let me show you this. Once again, we are in the local stream tab. I can click on the add button select on the protocol NDIHX, select this time, for example, my Wi-Fi, which is in the same local area network, give it a name like P3 Wi-Fi, and I can copy this into my NDI channel stream and press OK. Now I can activate this, go into the D350, and this time we're gonna click on the add button, and we're gonna click on NDI. In the public auto discovery tab, you see a P3 Wi-Fi signal is appeared. 
if I select this and click OK, I've been able to directly drag and drop this into the preview and then into my program output. Let me show this again in the real world scenario. So here we are, and as you can see, I simply drag and drop from the preview to the output, and I'll be able this time to get directly the connection in NDIHX. This makes something really special because with the low latency amount you have, you can basically use your P3 as a RF Wi-Fi mesh encoder for your cameras to your favorite video mixer of choice, whether to be TriCaster, vMix, OBS and so on. So we have got a look on the local stream. Let's now have a look on the Kilolink Server Pro. Of course, our patented technology will allow you to connect multiple networks together and bond them together. This is really practical, especially with a low coverage signal and in the most demanding situation. Here is our Killing Server Pro. As you can see, I've connected my P3 and my D350 for convenience. If I click on the P3, I'll be enabled now to add stream services. Remember, every bonding encoder is capable of eight destinations simultaneously with different protocols. So if I add stream, now for example, I can select SRT. I will give it a name like P3SRT and most likely you're gonna use the listener mode because all the port forwarding are directly done into the server. You have a lot of ports you can choose from or you can still use the caller mode. In this case we're gonna select listener and we're gonna press OK. Simple as that, this red button tells us we are streaming. So we just have to copy this link go into the D350, we click on the add button, in the network stream we're gonna paste it our uh, URL, select color this time and you will see it will auto fit all the ports and the latency for us. Simple as that, we can select and give it a name and we can change also the playback buffer. Press OK and drag and drop into the preview area and once the connection is established, we're going to be able to put it into the program room. So once again, from the preview tab, I can simply drag and drop into the output. And you see, we got our feed coming from the P3 with all the bonding connection. We can have a look to this if we go into the Kilolink server. You will see we are aggregating our connection all at once to get the signal received into the D350. So let me show you how, for example, you can integrate this workflow into a platform like vMix. So if I drag and drop the preview into the master program of my D350, and this time I'm gonna select SDI, I can interconnect basically my D350 into my main vMix workstation as an SDI feed. If I go to add input this time, I'm gonna select my camera, and I'm gonna select the corresponding input, I can press OK. And as you can see, easy as that, I'm receiving the D350 feed directly into vMix via SDI. I hope you like this video and stay tuned for more to come. You can always reach us at www.kiloview.com and for any technical support, send us an email to support at kiloview.com. See you in the next one.